All right, so let's look at Jasmine. It's looking pretty. It looks pretty bad. All right, I, I can't say anything bullish about it. Someone said they came out with the NFTs the other day. Um, that really didn't affect the price. Uh, you're still on life support at four five eight. Uh, four five is your life support on Jasmine. Uh, if you lose that, you'd fall all the way back down to where you first came out on Coinbase at four cents. And I don't think that's really much support there at four cents. But that'd be your next stop. If you don't hold that, you would fall off a cliff down to three one probably. Uh, you could call it three two if you want, but three one or three two be your next stop if you don't hold four cents. Which I think if you fall below four five, four cents wouldn't hold. Um, I think you would ultimately come down to three cents unless some. Somehow Bitcoin rallied back to forty-two thousand um, dollars, which Bitcoin's currently at thirty-eight k, so it's slowly going up, which is good uh, for Jasmine. But um, Bitcoin's slowly going up, and Jasmine's just going down or sideways, so that's really not bullish. Um, your next target is the two three six fib on the one hour time frame, which is currently at five point eight cents. Uh, your six one eight on the smaller time frames, which I did these fibs based on the one hour chart, uh, that is at seven point eight cents. Um, but if you look at the Big, big chart. And when I did the fibs on the daily chart, the 618, you have to be above to... I think if you're above the 618 on the daily chart, I think that guarantees a new all-time high. But that's a long, long ways away. You'd have to close the daily candle above 19 cents uh, to get that confirmation. Right now we're at 5, so that's like, what, 3 or 4x away. Um, so I don't really expect that to happen anytime soon. I still think it's possible this year. But I, I say this. If you lose 4 cents on a daily candle close on Jasmine, I think it's over. I don't think it makes a new all-time high this year. Um, so... You cannot go below four cents. And I think if you go below four or five, you are going to go below four cents. So then the question is, are you going to close the daily candle below four cents? So I would say short term, I'm still really bearish on it. We can go look at the MACD, see how that's looking. Um, the Gaia fans say it's bullish, but now you're below that minimum line. So even now, the Gaia fans on the six hour chart are no longer bullish. Let me look at this. Okay, the MACD is also reversing on the six hour chart. This is just probably more confirmation to me that you're going to lose four cents. And if you do, um, I think it's over for this year for Jasmine, unless a miracle happens. 12-hour chart looks like absolute dog crap. Daily chart is actually trying to go back to being bullish, and the three-day chart is actually turning bullish as well. It's about to. So daily time frame three-day actually looked really good, um, but 12-hour and anything below that, look they look bad, and it doesn't look good. So I think you have another few days at bare minimum of chop, of going sideways, and because the daily chart and three-day chart look good i would hold out hope that you hold four five and you definitely and you have a chance to hold four cents because like i said if you don't hold four cents i think i think it's over for this year for jasmine which means it, it doesn't make a new all-time high it could go for another run it could go back to 20 cents maybe but i don't think you get above the 620 and i don't think you'd make a new all-time high if you can't hold four cents on the daily candle close so that's what i got i'm pretty bearish on the short term i think a lot of the hype is gone um but i still think there's some hope based on what the MACD is telling me on the bigger time frame. So that's all I got. See you guys in the next one. I would say short term, though, uh, it probably won't rally out of here, at least for another few days.